Chris Christie, the Republican governor of New Jersey, is stunned and heartbroken today to find out that his political aides orchestrated a four-day traffic jam on the George Washington Bridge last September as part of a political vendetta. Uh, this happened shortly before the gubernatorial election, and the problem was that the mayor of Fort Lee, New Jersey, a Democrat, declined to endorse Chris Christie. And we found out through the press this week that in emails and texts, some of Christie's top aides were conspiring with people who worked for the New Jersey Port Authority to actually close lanes on the bridge. The mayor had no idea. The traffic jam took everyone by surprise. School buses were stuck for hours. Emergency vehicles couldn't get through. It was a huge scandal. Chris Christie always denied it. Now he can't anymore. He can't deny that it was a vendetta. He's still denying that he knows what happened. He fired his deputy chief of staff today. But as contrite as he seemed at his press conference, he was also the typical combative Chris Christie. Now, what this means for his political future is a little bit unclear. He has always been spoken of recently as a uh, front runner for the 2016 Republican presidential race. Part of his image is to be the tough talking combative guy. The flip side of that is that people accuse him of being a bully. This doesn't do anything to change that image. I will say he's lucky that it's 2014 right now and not 2016, but the shine's off the apple and it's hard to say how this is going to affect his political future. I'm Joanna Weiss from the Boston Globe.